May God Almighty bless you all. Peace and good to you. Today, I'm going to talk to you about toxic positivity. Toxic positivity is when we stop, stifle someone from showing his and her feelings. Saying like, oh no, it's going to be okay. It's okay, there is no need to, you know, just be positive. But in life, in fact, not everything is positive. In fact, I want to go to the book of Ecclesiastes that really talks about emotions. And it says this, this beautiful chapter 3 verses 1 to 8. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down, a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. And a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. So as the Word of God is telling us, there is a time for everything. So let us be always sincere with what we feel and share it with others. Obviously, the Bible says to be kind to one another as in the Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Also, uh, the Bible tells us to rejoice in our sufferings. From the Gospel of Matthew, we find this. Jesus tells us, therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. But obviously, the thing is that we need to reject toxic positivity. In other words, that positivity which is not true, which does not into account reality and starting from reality, moving on. A powerful verse about this is the letter to the Romans, Romans 12, 17, 18, where St. Paul is acknowledging the fact that one is held by evil. But he tells to the Romans, and he's telling us today, these powerful words, repay no evil for evil. But give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. So St. Paul is telling us, listen, you do what you can. As far as it depends on you, keep peace. But if it doesn't depend on you, Stay in peace and do what you can. And then, obviously, in Matthew 5.44, Jesus tells us squarely, But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. See? So Jesus is telling us not to be toxically positive, but he's telling us, yes, there are enemies who do not but yet, no matter that, pray for them and bless them. 
Obviously, the Bible is so true about toxic positivity and the way we handle it in a constructive way. In fact, Romans 12, 12 tells us, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Why? Because the Bible is telling us, yes, no matter what, rejoice in hope. Then tells us, no matter what, be patient in the tribulation, because there is, and also be constant in prayer, even if you're tempted not to pray. Also, like for instance, from the letter of Peter, chapter 1, first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verse 7. Casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares on you. So the Bible is telling us, yes, you have anxieties, but cast these anxieties on Christ, because he cares for you. So, Lord, thank you for this beautiful teaching your Holy Spirit is giving us today. And help us to end it with this powerful prayer, which we find in Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Lord of hope, fill us all with joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you may fill us 